Hello ladies and gentlemen, I am Saw from Kakum Gaming and welcome to part 2 of the Apiculture or the Beekeeping mod for Feed the Beast slash Minecraft. Huh. Hello! Um, hopefully you've seen my first video on beekeeping uh, where we learned basically how to store bees and uh, create all the beekeeping uh, tools for your basic bees and honey. Uh, in this episode we're going to be learning the more advanced things so make sure you go back and watch that episode else you're going to have no idea what I'm talking about. Okay, let's get straight on with it. We're going to be learning uh, how to make all sorts of new machines today. Uh, the first being the ap Apiture's Chest. Okay, I can't say that word. Okay, don't, 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 don't mock me. Basically in a crafting table you need five pieces of honeycomb which is a drop from farming bees as you know a chest and a piece of glass what this does is basically it is a chest in which you can store your bees um, there's a lot of space in here also storing your bees this is all you can put in there by the way is bees also storing your bees um, it will tell you which species how many species you have uh, that's a lot of species there queens princesses and drones and um, basically if you go over it like this these question marks are the possible bred bees so basically look from a meadows drone I can make that blue bee I can't put my mouse over it obviously uh, that is a common bee but we'll get into breeding very shortly very shortly indeed in this actual episode and um, so that is an apiches chest there we go okay next is the bealizer now the bealizer is a very cool item indeed and very very useful and um, this is the crafting recipe basically it is four pieces of tin two pieces of glass two redstone and the ultimate diamond okay that is not in a crafting table it is in a carpenter we learn how to make carpenters in the first video so if you haven't seen that please go back and watch the first episode instead of feeding it with seed oil you want to fill it with water instead uh, seed oil is just for what we were doing last episode so fill that with water get on with this recipe and make yourself a bealizer now a bealizer is a very cool item indeed uh, it's not a block it's an item you just hold you look anywhere you like and right click you need to feed your beer your bealizer with honeydew honeydew is something you get from centrifuging honeycombs we will be doing that very shortly um, but basically I'm going to show you the bealizer first. You feed it with honeydew and then put a bee inside. I'm going to put this wintry drone here and it will show you all sorts of things about the wintry bee. For example, it is wintry. It has a short life. It's not very quick. It's the slowest at pollen, pollinating um, flowers. It is fed using flowers. It leaves four drones, it leaves four bees behind when it dies, which is nice. That's quite. Uh, fertile compared to the others it's got quite a big span and getting stung by the bee will cause freezing effect um, if you just pull the bee down one you can find out more things this is like the biome uh, it likes an icy biome however it's tolerant by one basically this means if it's up it means it will tolerate slightly warmer conditions if it's down it will tolerate slightly colder conditions uh, humidity nocturnal flyer and cave speak for themselves and this is what it can produce possibly will produce this uh, it's just a picture you can't go over it which is really annoying although I know this is an icy or um, shivering comb this is its possible mutations the more you learn the more you breed these will unlock themselves um, I've not done a lot of breeding yet but I'm going to be teaching you anyhow um, and its classification. So there you go. That is the Bealizer. Very, very useful item. The next one, even more useful maybe, and very easy to make. Four pieces of bronze and a redstone on a crafting table. Not the carpenter, the crafting table. This will make you a habitat locator. It kind of speaks for itself, but I'm going to show you anyway. It's fed with honey drops rather than honeycomb. And you place your bee inside like so. As you can see, it used up the honeycomb, and it will show you where it's best where the habit habitat you should breed these bees in or farm these bees in left clicking on them will tell you taiga or snow as you can see here's all the different biomes these two are highlighted that is the best place to farm these bees okay and um, this is why I'm out in the ocean by the way because most bees are okay with that let me turn this off okie okay, dokie okay. now I'm going to teach you how to breed bees breeding bees 
isn't too difficult. Basically, you need to get into your aperture and empty one. Place a the best thing to start with is forest and meadows. Um, place your princess in the top and a different species of drone, like so. This will create a queen bee like normal. Now the queen bee won't seem any different. However, when the queen bee finally dies, its offspawn, uh, its offspring, offspawn, its offspring, um, could potentially be different breeds of bee, not meadows or forest, something different. Um, starting with common. Uh, so. May hopefully I've have common. There we go, a common princess. That's nice. Um, basically I did the same thing here, which I've just shown you. I don't really like the rain. There's a common drone. This is nice. This is nice. Okay, so what you can do now is you can breed a common drone with like a, a forest princess. I'm not going to do that. Instead, I'm going to do a common princess with a forest drone. Okay. Now this will create something different again, possibly. It might create another common, it might create another forest. Um, but it has potential, if they don't like the rain. Uh, it has potential of making different offspring. I'm just going to turn the weather, the rain off, because they don't like rain. Okay, I've made a little chart over here to show you. Let's see if I've got anything else going on. Nope, 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 nope. No. Okay, this is basically how it works. A meadows bee and a forest bee, um, either way, princess or drones, should make common bees. Common bees mixed with any other bees will make cultivated bees, potentially. And then a cultivated bee and the right conditions can make, with any other bee, can make awesome bees. Loads of different types of bees, which is cool. So, uh, I'm, I've left a, I'm going to leave a link in the description. Um, the um, awesome Han Solo or something, a really great person has made a big guide on minecraftforums.net um, about all sorts of bees and how to breed them and whatever. So I'm going to leave the link in the description there. So please check that out. Um, and we're going to move on. Um, this is very important. This is called a Culturn uh, Centrifuge. This is called a Centrifuge. Okay. Basically, with the crafting table, you need one sturdy casing, which is eight uh, bronze blocks bronze ingots sorry two pieces of glass and six copper ingots this will give you your centrifuge I'm gonna go show you the centrifuge now and what it does this here is a centrifuge it looks just like the carpenter or the squeezer and it is powered exactly the same way switch it on get in there uh, and basically what it does is if you place a comb, any comb that you've been gaining from farming your bees in the centrifuge, it will give you different things. Beeswax and um, honey drops I have at the moment. Obviously the honey drops are used to power your bealizer or your uh, habitat locator. Uh, there's all sorts of different combs which will make different things which are then again used to make other items. As you can see the simmering comb will make phosphor. I, I'm not sure what that does. And there is this silky comb. Hopefully I'll get some porpoise out of this. A silky porpoise, excellent. Okay, I'm going to show you what silky porpoise does. Silky porpoise you can put back in the centrifuge again, which will make you... Ah, oh, nothing in this case. That's a shame. But I'm going to show you anyway what it does. So that was the centrifuge. Now, to make the beekeeping armor, which uh, I love. I've got it on. Look, woo! Basically, you need silky comb. Put in the centrifuge like I just showed you to make silky porpoises, and then put the silky porpoises back in the centrifuge to make you silk wisp. A silk wisp placed in a in a carpenter like so. A block of nine like this uh, with water-filled carpenter will make you woven silk, and then you can use woven silk to make armor like normal, and then you have the Apio wrist clothes. The Apiaris clothes have uh, quite low armor, but they stop you from having the effects of the bees. Like I said, they sting you, sometimes causing poison or freezing, as you saw earlier on the Bealizer. Uh, and that will, this will stop that from happening. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this episode, episode 2 of beekeeping or apiculture. Um, probably do one more episode. There's flasks and things, quite some more um, ways of doing this. Uh, also, I'm going to start making all this happen automatically so you don't have to that should be pretty awesome but pretty hard so 
Hope you enjoyed this episode. Please subscribe. I love you guys. We Doodle are... beep.